Hi, and welcome to another episode of The Laughing Retirement on YouTube. Today, we're going to tackle an interesting subject. The basis of the subject is why the average Italian lives five years longer than the average American. And I'm going to put it down to one thing, quality of life. What is the quality of life in Italy that is so different from the quality of life in America? Well, there are a few things. First of all, from what we found, and we live in central Italy, about an hour, hour and a half outside of Rome. The pace of life is slower. It's not really much of a discussion. They don't run, 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 run after things. I spent some time at my daughter's, seeing my grandkids, and a lot of time in Italy. The pace of life is different. When I'm at my grandkids, something's always going on. First of all, there's two children involved, and that makes the pace of life faster. But even so, in Italy, our friends who have children, they slow down the pace of life. Now, why is that? And how is it? Well, first of all, there's a quality of life involved that Italians understand very, very well. Italians don't live to work. They work to live. Italians, and, and if you talk to an Italian, they'll say, oh, no, we got stress. We got this. We got that. It's all relative. They have stress. Sure, they do. I mean, the, the average Italian lives on a lot less than the average American does. And their, their salaries are much more fixed and consistent. It's a more socialized, but also a more homogenous society. So one of the reasons that the stress is lower is that family comes first. This is not a discussion. Family's number one, number two is community. And that's something that you don't find in the United States anywhere near as much as you find in Italy. Family first, community second. Communities sponsor a lot of things called sagras. And these sagras have been going on in some cases for centuries. The best known one is the Palio in Siena. A lesser known one, is the Palio in Leonessa that I happen to really enjoy. Wonderful costumes, the entrance of, of a family, and, and they call, they're called houses, and the houses compete against each other. And this is a big deal. They do it every two years. The houses compete against each other for prizes. And if you win the horse race, it's a big deal. If you win the best costume and the best entrance and the best drumming or marching, it's a big deal. Everybody celebrates it. So the celebrations in one sagra in one way or another way are a big deal. They want people to come in. And if you go to a sagra, what you'll find is that they're all greeting each other. They see each other every day, but they're still greeting each other. They're still asking about the news. They're still seeing people they haven't seen in a while. Quality of life. What else? Well, diet. That's a big reason. You've heard about the Mediterranean diet. Italians don't eat the same way we do. Now, for the most part, 95, 98% of the food we get is not packaged. 98% of the food we get is fresh. If we go to the butcher, that animal was butchered within the last two or three days and, and doesn't have a whole lot of hormones in it doesn't have vaccines, doesn't have a lot of the things that are normal. They don't, they don't pack for hormones in, into the animals in Italy to get them to eat more. They just eat good grass. It's different. Chickens, the pork, the liver, you name it, the sausages. It's fresh. A lot of times somebody will hand you a piece of sausage. Oh, where'd you get that? I made it myself. It's not, not unusual at all. The prosciutto, the ham, the 
this is this is part of Italian life. How they eat is a part of Italian life. They will eat a very small breakfast. They'll have a cup of coffee and a cornetta, a pastry. That's it. By two o'clock, the kids are out of school and everybody goes home to mama's to eat. It's not a tradition that's being forgotten. They all eat together and the big meal of the day is at lunch. And so stores will close from one or two o'clock till three or four o'clock and then open again till eight o'clock because they're gonna take a three hour lunch. Took us a while to get used to that one. But the idea that being home with family and that having a big lunch, having the big meal of the day is a big deal. Having it home cooked, that's another big deal. Italians may go out, but they go out to restaurants where they know that it's home cooked. It's, a, it's an important thing. Very often you'll go to an Italian restaurant and what you will find is that there's no menu. There's just the menu of the day on a chalkboard. Why is that? Because they're going to go out that morning and select what they're going to serve in the restaurant that night. They're going to make the noodles for the day. They're going to select the vegetables and the meats for that day. It's a different way of living. Now, what else? They, they don't have a lot of wine. I mean, it's the thing you hear, oh, you're going to Italy. They, they drink, they drink. They, no, no, they don't. If, you, if, if an Italian comes over to your home, and you hand him a glass of wine as he walks in the door, like we might to friends with a cocktail. They'll look at you like something's wrong. Because Italians don't drink wine unless they're eating. So you better put the food out first, then serve the wine. Are they picky about the wine? Yes, they are. In almost, in working on my seventh year in Italy, we don't. I can't remember seeing anybody drunk. Not on the street, not out of a bar. No, it doesn't work that way because that's sloppy and that's not a bella figura, which is what they expect. Good character. You comport your life well. So the way they eat is better. Always vegetables. You know the last thing they eat before dessert? if they have a dessert, and that's usually often fruit, then they have a digestif, and after a small after dinner liqueur, they have a salad last. That's how they do it. They'll have an appetizer, then they'll have a premi, which is very often noodles and then of some kind. Then they'll have a secundi, which is very often meat or fish or chicken of some kind. Um, then they will have an ensalada. Then they will have a dolce or dessert. And finally, a digestif at the end of the meal. And they'll spend four hours eating a very rather small amount of food because they talk the whole time. They want to relax. They want to know about the family. They want to know about your day. There you have it. Now, a simple answer. It's a quality of life. That's the easy part. I hope you'll join us. I hope you'll like this video. And if you like the video, I hope you'll subscribe to us. We got another one coming out that's about a retire retirement conference with International Living Magazine, who I, who I write for. My name is Chip Stites, and this is The Laughing Retirement. I hope you'll consider the quality of life in Italy.